Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Hope you're well. In today's video, we're going to take a brief look at how cost of sales, or sometimes known as cost of goods sold, is calculated. If you like the video and you find the information useful, then please subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. So cost of goods sold, cost of sales figure, will be found in your comprehensive income statement, otherwise known as the income statement or the profit and loss statement. It comes directly beneath sales revenue and above gross profit. The calculation of course for gross profit is a sales revenue minus cost of goods sold equals gross profit. So how do we work out cost of sales? Now this is the money that we spent directly on actually producing a product. For example, the raw materials used in its production. We might have purchased a certain amount during the year of raw materials, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that is going to be the figure used for cost of sales. Let's have a look at the formula in more depth. So the formula for cost of sales is opening inventory plus purchases minus closing inventory. And the reason why it's not as simple as just the purchases you've made in a certain time period is because you may not have actually used all of those purchases of raw materials to create your sales revenue. For example, let's just say for the sake of argument, you had purchases of £49,000. You couldn't just use that figure because we don't know whether all of that figure was used in the production of goods. You could have had £10,000 worth of stock in your warehouse at the start of the year and £14,000 worth of stock sitting there at the end of the year, essentially meaning that you did not use all of the purchases you made. Shown numerically, the formula looks like this. £10,000 worth of stock sitting in a warehouse at the start of the time period, most often a year, plus the purchases, £49,000 worth of purchases made within the year, minus the £14,000 we had left in our warehouse worth of stock at the end of the year, of course that will give us a total cost of sales figure of 45000 as you can see, it's not as simple as just taking the purchases figure because we may not have actually used all of those purchases in order to generate sales. Hence, our cost of sales in this example would be £45,000. Please subscribe for future related videos and leave a like as it really helps the YouTube algorithm. Hope you found this video useful. I look forward to seeing you in future releases.